Hello everyone, this is Swag Nozzle, and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be going over some of the Dungeoneering updates that have come out today. In the background, I'm just going to be doing some summoning for y'all to enjoy. Um, should be getting 2400 total a little bit later today. And actually right now, I believe I'm 2399 as current. I'm just kind of woodcutting my way, just relaxing and ready to get that goal thing out of the way. So yes, uh, to start off as far as the dungeon updates, a new Chaotic came out, which is the Spear, the Chaotic Spear. Uh, basically you put a Zamorakian Spear together with 10 Chaotic Spikes and you get this ridiculous weapon that will slay many corporal beasts uh, to come. And it's pretty good. Uh, the only real effective use of it, I mean don't get me wrong, it's an okay weapon like you know it's a chaotic chaotic are good but compared to the staff or compared to I suppose if you were gonna PVM the rapiers or just in general it's got one use and that is corporal beast so expect everything that does drop from corporal beast to plunge in price severely and and that's that um, there were a lot of little tiny items that came out some more necklace uh, arcane necklaces um, like just or I guess the equivalent of the arcane necklace for melee and ranged and just kind of little things like that um, there were like just little tiny tweaks little things that, that they kind of threw in like hey this is cool hey look this is cool they, they brought some new pets in uh, there's a baby frost dragon there's a little like crazy guy that runs around the ground it's just worth looking at they cost a lot and I am nowhere near them, but it's an interesting thing, and it's worth looking at. So, next, we've got a few new scrolls that have been coming, or have been rumored to be coming, for the past few months. And finally, we have them. So, more free experience, basically, through a few skills. The first one that they rumored a long time ago, but either way, is the scroll of Demonheim. Demonheim! And when you're skilling in the dungeon, you have a 5% chance to get, I'm sorry, a 50% chance to gain 5 extra experience. So that's a huge amount of experience. That means that the C2s that you go into for fishing and woodcutting are going to be even more ridiculous XP per hour. So that's pretty substantial. Like, it might actually put C2s even further ahead and even more worth doing. So that's something to look at. The next one that the next scroll that I've got to talk about is the scroll of proficiency and I believe that comes out uh, 20,000 uh, Dungeoneering tokens which is really a drop in the bucket especially with this week being double tokens and yeah like that just real dumb like that's nothing really it's like two floors for one of these and it has a 5% chance well actually no let, let me let me step back a moment and yes, the scroll of proficiency has a chance, depending on the quality of plank that you use, it has a chance to not use one, to, to retain those planks. I believe it's like 50% for oak, and then it goes all the way down to 5% for mahogany. Maybe 50 is 25, I don't know, whatever. There you go. And the scroll of dexterity which is the, you know, I, I really thought it would be something agility related. I don't know why, because dexterity, you're, you're jumping around, I don't know. Every other game has, like, a dexterity meaning agility, I don't know, whatever. Rant, rant over for that. Scroll of de dexterity, I guess throwing down the hammer on the anvil would be enough, but either way, it has a chance when you're using three or more bars to make some sort of thing, I believe it's three, you have a chance of retaining those bars, which is pretty great. And also the same thing with the scroll of proficiency for construction. So making mahogany tables or anything that does more, I guess, oak larders at a lower level or even a higher level. Oh, well, you just have a chance to retain some, which is great. But the only inconvenient thing is that when you're retaining a few of those, then you might have a problem in just, I guess, 
doing the bank thing, like you're retaining them, yes, but that means that your inventory might be a little bit screwed up while you're doing it. It's not going to look clean, and you're not going to be able to make another item, so it's not going to save you any time, maybe some money, but no time in the fact. Uh, so yes, but it's a great goal, it's great um, experience per hour regardless, so I guess it really doesn't matter in the long run, and for making ruin items, it's going to be even better. For I believe it's 5% chance on ruin items, and that really stacks up. Stacks the hell up, it's great. On a weird note, uh, there's a upgraded gym bag that instead of the 40 gems, I want to say, it holds up to 60 gems. And I, I, it's some number, whatever. A lot of, a lot of gems. Yes, it includes Dragonstone, which means that Abyssal Demon tasks are going to be even more beneficial because that was the one annoyance. If you didn't have enough inventory space or not having a yak, then you had the problem of not being able to put those Dragonstones in the bag. And the money picker upper thing yeah the gold accumulator there we go it will collect one million coins when they drop on the ground which is awesome but it really kind of sounds awesome but isn't because it costs 60,000 tokens and yeah it degrades and then turns into little dust and stuff which sucks so yeah just kind of imagine that I mean it doesn't take that long to pick up that much gold and how much gold that's that's worth Eh, I don't know. Whatever. It's okay. Oh, and they also made Bone Crusher, Charming Imp, and Herbicide able to be put in your pocket slot item thing. Or I guess just pocket slot that would be. Yeah, I speak English. So yeah, that's um that's the majority of the updates that have been going on with that. Sinkholes are more awesome. You can skip floors with tokens, but again, eh, I mean, unless you have like 120 dunge... You're not really going to be skipping many. I mean, it's, you know, whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's super cheap. I don't think it's cheap, though. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, I think there's some other little things, like UI-wise. When you get a uh, a key, or not a key, when you, I'm thinking spends, when you get stars from the keys from Solomon's shop store thingy, whatever, there's new interfaces, and to gain experience from lamps and stuff, there's new interface, and, man, there goes my video completely. So guess what? We're just gonna we're just gonna drag this over while I rant and we're just gonna pull that up and then just go like I was on some world. There we go. I was cutting trees. So that's kinda awkward. So yeah. Um without uh, further ado, look at how shiny this tree is. Just enjoy that. Yeah. Without further ado, I hope everyone has a fantastic evening and I really didn't expect to talk this long, but it feels good man. So enjoy your evening and enjoy the gains.